All right, today we will be changing the mirror switch on this car. It's brand new, genuine Mercedes mirror switch. And this one, there's nothing wrong with it. The only problem that I have with it is that it doesn't illuminate. So I just decided to order a new one. It was like 30 bucks for, you know, brand new switch right here. So I wanna install that guy. And uh, other than that, as you can see, this switch trim, this uh, clear right here came off, but I have it, so I'm gonna glue it back on. Everything is still amazing. You know, yeah, it's a little bit cracked, but it still looks really good and nice. So I'm gonna reuse that guy. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just gonna clean everything up and start putting things back together. So I just connected everything and tested it and the illumination is working, mirror is working and all good. So super happy. I'm gonna install this guy. Oh man, so disconnected this for the seat. Okay, um and then took off that rear ashtray. This actually just press up on that center piece uh, clip and it comes out. And now I'm just feeding this wiring in there. As you can see, I have it all wrapped nicely. It goes in there. Uh, to feed it through this carpet underneath, I had to use this, okay, this uh, like a piece of hanger. Now, to bring it all the way in, I just kind of moved this thing out this way. So it's, it's in there now, okay, so this wire. But then I moved it underneath of this right there and then I'm feeding it in through there and then I'm gonna finally once it's there I'm gonna slide it under the center console yeah, it's a bit of a pain for sure it takes patience hey right, now while I'm on this side as you can see I kind of put it back in through there again okay and now what I have to do is I have to tuck it in so the wiring loom goes, as you can see, oh, I can't really see, but the wiring loom can stay under the center console. I know it's a bit of a pain, but this is like the easiest way of doing it. There you go. Just kind of bring it up a little, you know. This wiring is going to be all safe. It's all nicely wrapped in this fabric tape and it's going to be all good. But the only thing is, like I said, you have to move this console up a little. All right, so I'll explain the wiring a little bit here. This is your connector for the hazard switch, okay? So the wires that you are worried about are this black and white. It's for one side of turn signals. Then next to it, it's gonna be black and green. So if you flip it, it's gonna say right and left this one so you're gonna tap each one of these one wire into the right side and one wire into the left side doesn't matter which ones but you want to distribute the current flow so yeah and just kind of the way i'm gonna do it is i'm gonna move this wiring loom all the way around like this and yeah as you can see it's the wire is actually all nice and i'll show you the back side but it's it's all there and safe and sound without any issues all right, so here is that wiring and it goes all the way in and it's not pinched anywhere or anything like that. And when I bolt up the uh, center console, it's not gonna be pressing or it's gonna, not gonna be like pinching this wiring uh, at all. And yeah, now as you can see, it's coming out this way and I'll be able to connect to this module right here. And also what I'm gonna do in addition is I want to put a like a you know masking tape here and I'm gonna you know write down what this wiring is for and where it goes just in case for any future people you know who you know I'm honestly I'm, I mean I'm gonna keep this car for the rest of my life but the thing is that is you know I like having everything labeled especially it's stuff that's not you know really factory you know like I said I'm not I'm not a huge fan of you know uh non-factory spaghetti and all that but I'm not adding a bunch of stuff you know like I said I mean I'm had this keyless entry for you know about uh two years and you know just wanted something cool which is you know the turn signals yeah so this is gonna be a nice nice addition all 
gonna start installing all this. So I just connected these wires, these two brown wires that go from this module. They're gonna go all the way to the hazard switch and I prepared this note, which I'm gonna attach to these two wires, kind of like this. You know, that way it's gonna make sense what these additional wires are for. All right, and everything is back together here and it looks really good and nothing looks out of the ordinary. It's gonna be really, really nice once I'm done. It's totally worth it. Yeah, but you just have to do a nice job and then I'm getting ready to wrap these in this electrical tape and organize all this, make it nice right here. Tuck it underneath of these uh, fabric materials. All right, here's how everything looks. All right, everything is nicely tucked in here. Okay, awesome. Super happy about all this. I'm just gonna clean up this area a little better. All right, real quick. So this is how I connected it. The wire, the black and green wire together with the wire coming from the remote and the same, another second wire coming from the remote control is connected together with white and black right there and then respectively they connect to this the same wires right here and from this side so two wires two wires one wire one wire and then they connect to the hazard switch all right so this is how everything looks everything is wrapped nicely these two wires go to the remote and as you can see i marked these two wires saying that they are for turn signals and they're going to remote control in case if anyone is wondering all right everything is wrapped up inside of here nicely and we can start installing everything back the seat and all that all right seat is back on now i'm about to start putting some leather conditioner on some good stuff don't forget about that you have to condition the leather vinyl plastic everything you know take care of all this stuff it's gonna be good for another hundred years man so happy i restored this interior looking beautiful now wow